Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche. Where today? I believe we have a play date. Was it with Russo? I think it was Russo. Which is actually going to be quite interesting. There's quite a lot of people that I've recently become buddies with and I haven't had a chance to um, to go out on days out with them. So I may find someone else that I want to go on a day out with as well today. I'll have to see. So it's going to be at my workshop, so I'll just hang around here. Um, I just tried to record a minute ago, and I had a crash bug trying to do the, uh, the mini game. So I'm not going to do that today, just in case there was a little bit of an issue with it. I was like trying to look at a boxing glove. It was a bit weird, so I was just like, yeah, we'll just leave that alone for today, and uh, maybe try again tomorrow or something. Oh, I haven't checked the sell prices, so that's something that would be really useful to do. Because I really want to sell my stuff. You have no idea how much I want to sell my stuff. And I just don't have the... Don't have the sell price there at the moment. Hello, Russo. Oh, it was Russo. So we'll just check out uh, the sell price and then I'll... I'm assuming it's probably going to be rubbish. Yeah, it's still 74%. Don't know if that means it's going down or what but uh, I'm certainly not selling my stuff at less than 100%. So we'll just go in and see what Russo has to say. I might buy some more flooring or something like that, see if I can drive the market price up a little bit. Oh, that's kind of, kind of going to defeat the object of saving up, but oh well. Oh, my voice is gone! Of course, my voice was fine in the one where I uh, where I crashed the game. Yeah. Okay, so let's start playing. I'm so happy to see you. What's your plan? I don't know, Russo. What's the plan? Shall we go for a ride on Whisper? Okay. Your head's in my head. Oh, that's creepy and weird. You notice how most of the other characters sit well on the horse? Oh, there we go. He's sitting better now. I wonder whether there's slightly less effort being put into things like that with the um, the less popular characters, the sort of more minor ones. Can we sit down for a while? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go and have a chat. As usual, first day out, I don't really worry about getting doing all mini games and trying to get the most points. I, I want to get to know the character the most, so let's have some casual talk. As much as I don't like Duvos, I must admit their cocoa tea is the best in the world. If you ever get the chance to go there, you must try that tea. Cocoa tea? That sounds amazing! Um, I know what gift he likes. Let's compliment. It must be hard to manage the mayor's house. I've been here a long time. They're family now. Okay. You look so serious. I'm old, but I work out every day, a habit I picked up when I was in the military. Mm. Well, we'll see. What kind of gifts do you like? Something that I like, huh? I do like intricate small furnishings. Interesting. So guys, you might want to try some of the small furniture and see, see if Russo likes any of it. I'm not giving you a gift, though. I think we should head out for brunch. So he's got a bit... He's been in the military, so that's a new thing we know. I don't think we knew that before. So he was somehow in the military, and then... Mayor Gale somehow saved his life. So I wonder whether they were in the military together or something, and then Mayor Gale saved him. Possibly. Interesting, huh? I do kind of wish there was something... What is Sheila doing? The aroma in here makes my mouth water. I want to order something? Sure. Now, yeah, I wish there was something between, like, two stars and, like, romance. Like, once you get to two stars with someone, you kind of know all that you're going to know about them. So then the only reason to get more hearts and stars than that is to get, like, points, um, like, perk points and things like that. And then, obviously, if you're going to marry them or whatever. But, you know, I wish that you could get to know a bit more of their story. 
Because I don't feel like, um, for example, Anton, I found much out him, about him at all. Okay, let's ask about work. Is it hard to take care of Ginger? I treat her like one of my own. I've known her since the day she was born. She's a tough young lady with a bright future ahead. I'll do anything to make sure that happens. Loves Ginger. What's it like to be a butler? I owe Gail a life debt, so anything I can do to help his family, I will. Being a butler isn't so bad. Gail is very generous when it comes to my wages. Favourite foods? I like to eat meat. Doesn't matter if it's fried, baked, barbecued or something else. Talk about favourite foods again then? No, we need to order, I think. Because I've run out of doofers. This meal is on me. What do you want to have? I come here often. Not that there are a lot of choices here in Portia. I usually have the creamy salmon stew, baked bread, fire fruit mix, Midas fish stew and rainbow lemonade. So creamy salmon stew, baked bread, fire fruit mix, Midas fish stew, rainbow lemonade. Okay, rainbow lemonade. Fire fruit. Mix creamy salmon stew, baked bread, um, fish stew. There we are. You ordered everything on my mind. Thank you. Got some extra stamina for that. Fantastic. Great on a day when I have already got max stamina. Woohoo! We did well. We did well. What to do next? Uh, oh, I've got one back so we can talk about favourite foods again. Even though the doctor has been telling me to eat much less meat uh, as I age, I just can't help it. I don't believe that's true. I mean, he still works out and stuff, so that's like using the protein he's, he's getting, so... I don't see that that's a problem. Hello, Django. Okay, so who else on my social list do I want to take out for a day out? So, I've been out with Sonia, Paulie, Remington. We can't go out with Gail, unfortunately. Albert, Merlin, Carol, Emily. Been out with all of those. I'm sure we have. Been out with Sam. Been out with Arlo. We haven't been out with Mars. Yes, I think we have. We've been out with Doctor Zoo. We've been out with Petra. Can't go out with that, unfortunately. We've never been out with Phyllis. No, we have. We have actually. I think we have. I'm almost certain we have actually. But we definitely haven't been out with Nora, Lucy, Lee, Dawa. No, we have been out with Mint and Russo, or Django, and we have been out with Anton. So it's Nora, Lucy, Lee, Dawa, and Django that we need to go out with. Hmm. Django seems like an interesting chap, doesn't he? Should we maybe go out on a day out with him tomorrow and see, find out a bit more about him? Go back in here then. Hey, Django. All right, let's give you... No, let's not give you anything. Let's, uh... My workshop, tomorrow at 10. We're going to do a, a day out. Okay, so this morning, or what, with what's left of the day anyway, I was... oh yeah, I wanted to go to the museum, didn't I? And hand in that little painting. Let's go and do that. I really don't have to hand in much before I've got the top prize in here, you know. Hey Merlin, how you doing? Hey. So I need to donate four more items and I am I am done. Let's see if there's any space for this painting of a street. Yes. Where did it go?
Hmm. Well, council's 37 now, so that's the main thing. Cool. Now, did I already donate? Like, this is what I'm trying to work out. Is Did I already donate a weird glass jar here? Because I'm sure I've got a complete one. Oh, yeah, I did. Cool. That's fine. And a washing machine. Uh, since when have there been an, an aquarium in here? I, I haven't noticed. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I can put fish in here. I'm gonna have to go and catch like one of every fish now. As well as ruin hunting. Okay, well that would be a cool thing to do tomorrow actually. And that's good because I can go and see all the fish and stuff. I don't have to have. I don't like having an aquarium myself. It just annoys me. But I don't mind going and doing fishing for other people. It's something I can. I can make quite a bit of money through it as well because I can sell them. Sunny side has been viewed by Molly. Oh, nice! I like getting free, uh, free social points with people. Right, so. Come back here to get bait. I think I'm just going to go do fishing for that. I didn't even realise I could do that. It's amazing. I've got all these like classic fishing rods now as well. Awesome. Gonna need though. Oh my goodness, I shouldn't have sorted that. That's so full of junk. Oh well, never mind. I'm going to have to sort it a hundred times. 39 fish uh, caterpillars there. So not many, but not the end of the world. We'll start simple with catfish. That was pretty easy. In fact, that seems way easier. They said that they've made it a bit easier lately. And for me, who's used to... Oh, of course, I've got this better fishing rod as well, haven't I? So that's actually making it way easier. I'm used to doing things with the rubbish fishing rod. Oh, I see, and it's in the, bu it's in the bubble as well. Oh, goodness, this is well easy. And it's an emperor banner fish I got there, so... We can get another banner fish and hopefully that'll count as two. Oh, two emperor banner fish. Oh well, okay. Let's see if we can get a normal one. This is way better. Normal banner fish. Well, there's other things I will be able to get at each fishing spot, but I'm just going to go for the main thing at the moment. I was very lucky to get two emperors. Okay, so... How about the fishing spot up? Oh, I haven't handed in my commission either. Well, we'll go up here and we'll hand in my commission because I think I've got all the necklaces on me anyway. And then we'll go fishing somewhere else. Well, while we're here, we could just put the fish that we've got so far into the uh, into the museum to see how that works. Lovely. Thank you for my commission fee. Fantastic. Oh, you're my friend now. Fantastic. Very nice. Okay, it'll pop up here. And we'll just put some fish into the tank. It's pretty awesome. I do need, I really need to work on like if I've got spare bits and bobs of things, um, you know, exchanging them for things that might be useful to me. But it's, it's hard to know what I need. Like things are so disorganized at the moment. So it's either spend hours organizing them or just keep collecting relics until the relic finder says that I can um, make something out of it. <laughs> I might go with the latter option. Let's observe. Oh. 
must be off the hot bar then. So hopefully the emperor fish will count as different to the normal banner fish, but we'll see. So we're putting in a banner fish, putting in an emperor banner fish, putting in a catfish. I can observe, I see my banner fish and my catfish. Okay, so it looks like it only registers the species of fish that I've put in there, but it allows me to put emperor in as well as normal. Okay, that's fine. Happy about that, so you can see my fish swimming around. I like that there's a collection of fish. It's quite cool. A couple of things that I could put over here. Still need to make a crane for this as well. Now I know how to get lubricant a bit more easily. A crane shouldn't be a problem. I'm certainly not going to donate a conveyor belt. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so let's just head on up to the hazardous ruins. Up this way. And there's a fishing spot right down here. Just head down there. But yeah, this fishing is so much easier nowadays. But like I said, it's probably because I've got an easier, a better fishing rod now. It'd help if the fish spot would come up for me. Blade fish. Hmm, golden ring, very nice. Probably sell that because I've done the golden ring quest. How am I supposed to fish with your head in the way? going to be blade fish there. I have to be careful I don't run out of caterpillars you see. So why don't we head on up. I'll try it. I'll try when I've got some more caterpillars to get the sort of slightly rarer fish but I may as well get the common ones to start with. So blade fish and um, where else can we go? We can go and get mackerel. There's a fish spot for that that I know of. Ugh. Okay I'm near. I'm nearer to this one now. So let's head out to the desert, maybe? No, let's go up here. So yeah, people were also saying that I need to take... Oh, no, I'm stuck in there now. I need to take pictures of animals or something for my uh, for my photo album. So that's something that I could do. I could say this episode will be going out while I'm away. So if there's been a an update and I've just not been aware of it, it's because I've had to pre-record to go away. And as soon as I come back, I will be recording more stuff. So don't fear if um, if there's a, a update out and you're expecting that from me um i i sometimes have to go away very rarely but i do just sometimes oh rats can you only get that from the desert side or can you get it from this side as well that's moved and that's frustrating that it's moved because i came all the way around here and it's actually at the desert side of things it used to not be. It used to be that you'd go all the way up to the waterfall and it would be on this side, but no, it seems like you have to go from the desert side now. Come on, let me down. Oh, well, that's very frustrating. 
We've been riding around till 2am trying to find one fish. That one's not an easy fish spot to get to. Oh, there's a fish spot down here usually as well, actually. Chest down there as well. Hmm, interesting. So the one down here, what do I get from this one? Oh, this one looks like it's more like salmon and, and things like that. Okay, we can try this one. Golden salmon. It does look like they've um they've differentiated the fish spots a lot more as well. Which is very useful. Don't know if I'll be able to get a giant fish. There's only like a certain number you'll get and like I say I'm worried I'll run out of caterpillars because I don't have tons. But yeah, some of the, the more tough fish spots, I imagine you can get some quite um, lucrative fish from them. It is actually worthwhile doing for money now. Five kilo salmon. Yummy. Feed me for a week. Emperor golden salmon. Very nice. I'm after one of those giant fish though. And all I'm catching is salmons. Grr. my guy. Whoa, come in. Whoa. Yeah, Goliath fish. Very nice. I'm not going to try for an Emperor Goliath though. How many caterpillars do I have left now? 21. That's not too bad actually. Not too bad at all. over to the desert there are fishing spots um all the way up in the desert or there's the one all the way up for the, the mackerel uh, i don't know which one i'm going to try i don't think i can make both of them though but yeah so every time i get a few caterpillars i'll be able to do that should be able to make a wormery or like a caterpillar breeding thing or something that would be so much better than trying to breed the darn fish. And you just have to fill it up with poop or something. I, I don't know. I think they should change it from caterpillars to worms. You should be able to make a wormery. And then you can fill it up with like soil and poop and stuff. And then they would like be really happy in there. And they would multiply. And then you could get loads of cool stuff. Loads of worms to do fishing with. But yeah, they've moved that fishing spot. It used to be bang in the middle. It's now over to this side. So you need to remember that. Can't really hit it from the WoW industry side. It's full of blade fish now as well. I think it's blade fish with mackerel as like the less common one. So I'm going to need to try if I want to get... Horses in the way as well. Come on. Let me fish. I always go too close to the water, I think. I 
an Emperor Blue Mackerel straight away. Oh my goodness. I need to keep hold of that though, because then I could get I've got a free commission off that. Oh darn it, that was a waste of a Don't know why I clicked then. It wasn't This is great. If I can get an Emperor Mackerel and a normal mackerel, I'll put the normal mackerel in to the fish tank and I'll put the Emperor Mackerel somewhere else. Oh, I've got a full inventory apparently. It's all full of fish. An Emperor Salmon, I've got em Golden Salmon, I've got a Goliath, Emperor Mackerel, Normal Mackerel. So these can all go into the museum in the morning. Fantastic. Actually, Free Ride Home is on its way anyway. Good night. That was an opportunist little snake there, wasn't it? Like, ha ha, she's collapsed. I'll come and I'll come and get her now. I can't normally get her. Ha 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 ha. That's how snakes talk, by the way. Okay, well that was really cool. It's now Sunday. Um, I wonder if any of my dried apricots have been made and placed into my inventory while I wasn't looking. No, but possibly overnight they might have been. Maybe when I pick up my box this morning, we'll have some. So let's just put a few things away, like uh, I've got some apricots, eggs, sugar, lettuce. I'm going to put away my Emperor Blue Mackerel and that's going to stay there until I'm ready to use it. Which will be when I get one of those Emperor Blue Mackerel um, commissions and I'll be very, very happy then because I'll be like, I've got one already. Fantastic. Great. I won't get one for days now, you watch. Days and days and days. It's kind of been nice to actually have a reason to go fishing. Oh yeah, I could go up to the church and get more planters as well. I'm not so into giving gifts at the moment though, because I'm like, well, if I give gifts, then, you know, I won't be able to give them out on, on their birthdays and, and holidays and things like that. I'm getting a little bit stingy with that, I'm afraid. I could try and make a crane for the museum. That would be pretty cool. always miss things like when I'm putting things away I always miss so many things that could go away so I've had someone saying that they don't think the hoisters are a very good um, return on what you're putting into them but they, they sell for a thousand so I don't really know I mean how much does an industrial engine sell for on its own maybe that's what's pumping the price up it only sells for 180 and you're only putting one engine into it. I think it is driving the price up a bit, isn't it? Let's have a look. So, a hoister. What what goes into making that? Okay. So 180s worth of industrial engine. Two steel plates and three bearings. Let's go and have a look at what steel plates and bearings sell for. So... Steel plates are one of the mechanical parts chest, aren't they? Right, so steel plates... Right, bearings go for 145 each. Ah, right, I'd underestimated how much they cost. So that's about 450 just under for all of those. 180. 550, 630. It's around six, six or 700 there. I'm just estimating. Nine. Yeah, you're right, actually. So it's probably almost a thousand's worth of components going into it as well. No. Oh, well played. Well played. Pinwheels apparently are still great. 
But I'll take the hoisters I've made and sell them because, like, I've not lost anything making them. It's just I haven't really gained anything by putting them together into into a neater package, I suppose. Okay, so next thing I want to do today, I guess, now I've done a few bits of fishing and stuff like that, I'm going to go and put the rest of the fish into the museum. Oh, I need to clean up after my animals and I need to feed them. I think I put all their food away, though. <clears throat> I haven't petted my llama enough. We can tra train my llama speed. That's another good thing to do. Just waiting for spring now, really, aren't we? Um, take Whisper out and we'll pop down to the museum and pop all the rest of the fish in. Oh, we're playing with Django. Okay. Oh, dear Builder, we would like to invite you to our annual Commerce Guild Awards tomorrow at the Commerce Guild Building. We'll be presenting awards to the best ranked builders over the last year. Come one, come all, Porsche Commerce Guild. Hmm. Okay, well that's one thing I probably won't miss because I always go to the Commerce Guild in the morning, especially if it's a weekday, so... Fantastic. Look at my inventory fill up now. Good grief. Okay, let's, let's go on the play day with Django then, shall we? We'll hand the fish in later. Do you have anything in mind? I'll follow you. Okay. Let's go and ride on my horse, Django. I'm going to try and do a play day with someone every day, as long as I don't have tons of storyline content to do. I see no reason that I shouldn't be doing that. So we're going to go under the wishing tree first. Because then I can find out a little bit more about Django. So, casual talk. Seaside has got lots of nice stuff. Jade, silk, hot pot, things of that nature. I was there some 10 to 15 years ago visiting a friend. The hot springs there are terrific. Mm. That sounds really nice, Django. What to do next? Let's uh, compliment you. I never knew you were such a great swordsman. I used to be a knight. Must be good at fencing. You used to be a knight? For who? Is there a king? Did you used to be at court? Interesting. The restaurant's great. Knighthood and all that entails are my first passion. Cooking is my other. Serving people and making them happy is the meaning of my life. Okay, well, we'll go find a bit more out about you at the restaurant then. I'm going to see if there's any more quests about, like, um, I do need to be working on... Apparently Phyllis has quests or something that I've not had so far, so we'll see what that's all about. The aroma in here makes my mouth water. Want to order something? Yes. I would like to ask about your favourite foods. I always get a bad mood when I eat something really sour. Oh, best to, best to remember that then. What to do next? Ask about work? What should I say? Is it hard running the round table? It is, but I'm facing it as a knight. So it's nothing. Ha ha! He likes being a knight, definitely. Ask about work? What should I say? How's your restaurant going? I'm not trying to get rich by it. Just making a living is enough for me. So I'm happy if the customers leave satisfied. People in Porsche really love the food you serve. You're the only sizable restaurant in town. It's not like there are choices. <laughs> Man, that's so mean. Oh. It's not, I suppose a lot of other people have been saying that, but oh well. And I strive to never let them down. What a terrible thing to say. How's your restaurant going? 
Will it only let me tell you the second option now? Let's see what he says. Uh, true, true, but even if there is no competition, the round table will still s strive to serve the best. Good grief, did they write that purposely as a tongue twister? My code of honour demands it. But it was nice you didn't get offended by that. Good grief. Talk about favourite foods. High wind fried rice, rice, even, is the best fried rice I've tried. Stewed rice meat supreme is also pretty good. Okay, and that's what we can do. Relationship plus 12. So that was fun. Thanks for a great date today. See you next time. Uh, but we found out lots and lots and lots of stuff about Django, you see. He is very into being a knight and serving the people. Basically. That's pretty cool. Okay, so with the rest of the day... Oh yes, I was going to take my, my rest of my fish to the museum. I don't know whether fish counts... Um, too much towards like the the general additions to the museum, so I could probably get that with just a couple more small pieces and whatever these two are. One of them will be the loudspeaker, and the other will be whatever else I haven't put down there. I'll try and work that out in a second. But yeah, it's only counting as 37 items. The fish aren't counting as a museum item. They're just like their own separate collection, which I kind of thought it'd be a bit too easy to add fish and that would just give you extra items. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to pop in here is a blade fish. Did that go in? There we are, blade fish is in there. And then we also have some salmon. And we also have a blue mackerel. And we also have a goliath. And some normal salmon. So if I go to observe, then I can see fish species collected. So emperor banner fish. Oh, I see. So the highest one goes in there. So... King Salmon, Golden Salmon and a King Salmon, a Bubble Fish, a Frog Fish, a Koi Fish, a Wise Fish, a Lantern Fish, and a Blue Mackerel. Okay, we've got quite a few things that we can put in though today. So, Blue Mackerel, Emperor Golden Salmon, there's no point in just putting the normal one in if I've got the Emperor. And a goliath. So now if I observe and look at my species collected, I've done mackerel, goliath, catfish, golden salmon, the emperor bannerfish and bladefish. Now I bought some bubble fishes from the winter festival. I did not realise, unfortunately, I could have bought most of them. And I didn't realise like I had this fish tank at the time because I would have just bought them from there. Darn it. However, I imagine I can just get a king salmon from the salmon fishing spot. Um, I've got some bubble fish at... Oh, I think I bought some bubble fish, actually. I think you can get koi from like Amber Island. You can definitely get wise fish from the blade fish spot. Things like that. So I'll do a little bit more... Um, fishing and we'll get the other ones so I can definitely bring down a bubble fish so I need to collect more caterpillars though why don't we see if we can make a crane to go in here and if, if we can make like a loudspeaker oh yeah I was gonna I'll go back in I'm trying to work out from my handbook what it is I'm missing here We've got a lot of stuff. I don't know if you can tell me. Recycling machine. Oh, no. On my handbook. So let's have a quick look through. Let's see if we can kind of work out what I've not put in. So I've done a stone furnace, a grinder, a cutter, a basic skyver. The wooden bridge heads and DD transports apparently don't work. I've done a, a grill, a water tank, DD stop. 
I feel someone said that a DD stop would work. Have I put a DD stop in? Yes, I have. Okay. Oh, rats. I'm trying to work out what it is that I haven't got. I'm sure we've got the cooking set, the civil furnace, the industrial cutters. Did I put down a fire power generator? I'll check that. A blender, a removable battery. Oh, have we done a removable battery? Yes. What's that over there? Is that transmission or something? Lift controls. It's hard to work out what you haven't done now. Oh, gee. It might be a water tank. I'm not sure. Definitely done a blender, removable battery, loudspeaker I haven't done. A water engine, a water storage. Definitely got a fish display lift controls. Advanced fiver, Lara. Recycle machine, a printing press. Maybe a printing press needs to go in there. A try it. Okay guys, well I'll make, I know full well that the, the boom box and the crane are things that need to go in here. But if anyone has an idea about what the last one is, whether it is a printing press or not, let me know because a printing press, it's a lot to make for no reward. I mean, I could just make it and see if it fits and if not, I could keep it for the next time there's a, a mysterious man. Jeez, what happened here while I was gone? I got stopped by one of the Civil Corps about some relic from the research centre. Luckily, I had an alibi. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, mysterious man. With yellow eyes. Wouldn't it be so weird if the mysterious man turned out to be my father? He's got this backpack on from far, far away. I'm sure I would. I'm sure I would recognize my own father. Well, but... well, I have some special and valuable wares. You're welcome to take a look. Get them while you can. Let's have a look. Because apparently, like, there's more stuff for Pinky nowadays. Someone said there was like something down by the mine or something. We've got Pinky's bet. Man eater sofa. No hey, thanks. Deluxe fishing kit. Toolkit that's needed by every fisherman. Max stamina plus 10. Oh, okay. So the painting of the boy and the painting of the kitty can go in the museum. Ah, right. I'm going to buy those. I'm going straight into the museum and see if we can pop them in. If we can, we might be able to get up to the, the 40... Pieces. I mean, I would love to to get the museum completed and like go into Django's and get all that, and you know, it's just a it's just a time thing, really. So, not suitable to be on display. Not suitable to be on display. Oh, fine then. I thought people said that they could go in the museum. Oh well, I'll stick them on my wall because they're extra health and stamina. They're quite nice paintings, actually. Bit of a waste of money, though. I could have sworn people said that, that the paintings from the Mysterious Man could go in the museum, but I probably am getting really confused. Boopy doo Boopy boopy doopy doo Oh yeah, that's where that should go. Completely. Picture of Pinky above Pinky's bed. Yeah, I like that. I like that. 
about painting the boy as well. That's nice. Yeah, I've got some paintings in my house now. I think I need a new I need a new house style though, definitely. It's, this one's getting a bit tired. But again, it's something that I need money for, and I want money to upgrade my house first. I haven't actually checked the sale price today. I don't expect it to be suddenly up to like 130% though. Oops, sorry. So 74%. Maybe I did actually check it earlier in the day. I'm not sure. But it's really, really bad. <laughs> like, so bad. So bad. I bought stuff today, though. So maybe that'll change the tides. I don't know. I really don't know. Now I have fish I can sell, too. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to try and make a few things for the... So I want to make a crane. And then I was going to try maybe a printing press. And definitely a boom box. Do I have the stuff to make a boom box? I don't have the cassette box or the copper coils. But I somehow have the leather horns for it. Okay. If I can make copper coils then. And a cassette. I can make a cassette box. Was it only one I needed? Oh, I can't remember the quantities now. Darn it. One cassette box and two copper coils. Okay. Two copper coils. This will be quite easy to make. Set that to making a boom box quickly. I'm going to have a look at what I need for a crane. Four pulleys. Uh, five steel cables. A hoister I've already got. Three steel frames. So let's go and make some pulleys. Grinders for pulleys. Four pulleys. No, oh, he's making my boot. My. Oh, please tell me I'm making a loudspeaker and not a boom box. I'm making a boom box. No, I'll have to sell that then. I'm making the wrong thing. I've already put a boom box in the museum. Which means now I'm probably going to need more leather horns. I'll have used all the stuff I was meant to make the loudspeaker out of. Typical. Typical stupid she lab behaviour. Okay, let's have a little look now. At the loudspeaker. Copper plate, simple circuits and copper coils and hardwood planks. The only thing I'm missing is... Three copper plates and the copper coils. Okay, well, we'll make some copper plates then. It's actually not the same stuff at all. So, three copper plates, please. Two copper coils. The older stuff once the copper plates are made, which will be in three hours time, we can make ourselves a loudspeaker. And once we've made the what were we making for the something on the grinder, wasn't it? We had to make uh, the pulleys, so they're going to be eight hours, so that'll be in the morning. We've got some apricots now, yum! So the girly whirlies will be happy with those. I'll keep probably keep a few of them until. I'll probably give a few out, but I'll, we'll try and keep some for the day of the bright sun. Because that'll be my next opportunity to really, like, get tons and tons of goody... Goody social points with people. Um, guess I'll pick that up. I don't know how much that'll sell for. 1300 That's reasonable. A 
lot of effort to make it though. I don't know how much a construction crane actually sells for. I wonder if there's anything that's like really easy to make. Like the thing is with water towers, I'll run out of large pipes. Is there anything that I can make that I can just make out of stuff that I can get easily? See so a printing press needs a couple of pulleys as well. Could make charge stations, but they need like industrial furnaces. That's a bit crazy hard to make. I'm just thinking there might be stuff that I can make that like would sell for lots and lots of money but I I wish um, one thing that I would really love would be if you could see the sell price you know like when you make stuff you can see a sell price on it but when you make big things like comprehensive grinders electric furnaces and things like that you don't know how much they sell for unless you've got them in your inventory which means you have to have made it already so it's really hard to tell if you can make a profit off it which is why a lot of people don't do it, I think. I think it would make the game a lot more interesting if you were trying to like work out the profit on these like really big projects. But yeah, one thing that I did say I was going to do, um, and this is another profit-making venture, was to pop up to the, the top there. See if I can see if there's any uh, if the rocks have respawned. Because if I can make loads more of those irrigation flooring, no, not irrigation flooring, sort of those um, igneous floorings, then I will be minted. I definitely still want more floors to be put into here. The more we can get, the better. Possibly a straw floor would be really nice. Like, so you can put that around, like, maybe your animal areas. That would be amazing. Oh, well, yep, yeah, they're all back. All of them are back. Let's go get these, then. I do kind of love how, like, the thing that makes you kind of the most money in this game really is, like, just bashing all the rocks. Bash all the rocks for the topaz, bash all the rocks for the igneous flooring things. And I won't forget the second area. Although the second area might not have respawned the same as the first area, but I think it has been quite a few days since I last tried to come up here and, and harvest these, so. I swear the devs will be looking at this, they'll be like, oh, she's found another thing that's like actually worth a lot of money. Let's nerf it. I should just title this, How to Make a Million Bucks in, in Porsche, and then everyone will watch it. Yep. No, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm probably not even as much of a, a clickbaiter as I should be, honestly. I probably would do a lot better on YouTube if I clickbaited more. I am now level 43! It's quite amusing earlier I got accused of clickbaiting for a um for pertaining to a, a quest that I didn't even know existed. So apparently I was clickbaiting by by saying that I was doing that quest even though I didn't know the quest existed. It was one with Phyllis in a wheat field, some some kind of thing about a sunrise. So that's now been spoiled for me and uh hopefully not too much of a spoiler for the rest of you. I think I think a lot of people have already done that quest though. But if you haven't, apparently there is some kind of quest line if Phyllis um, is high enough hearts with you. And apparently there's more to it if you're in a romantic situation with her, which is really nice. I hope that that gets added for other romantic options though. Like, I would hate for there to just be like a special thing for one character and not for some of the others. Oh, that's another thing. Apparently someone has to divorce Phyllis to do her storyline. It was like, wow. Sucks. 
Apparently it was in the patch notes, but whatever patch notes it was in, I didn't read them. Well, I didn't read them thoroughly enough. Quite often, though, there's a lot in the patch notes, and it's very easy to miss something that's like a little side quest when you, you've suddenly got, like, new housing and new this and new that. Like, one little side quest is very easy. It's down the bottom of the patch notes somewhere, you know? Really? I've used all my stamina. Wow. 161 igneous rock, though. I need to come back tomorrow and get the rest. But I can start immediately making that into igneous flooring. Now, I want to see how much the igneous rock sells for on its own. It sells for eight. Fairly decent then, so that's like 800's worth, well, maybe a couple of thousands worth of uh, igneous rock. Whoa, I nearly fell off then, nearly fell in the water. So I'm collecting all this stuff to sell and I just can't sell it. I wish I could. Oh, that's three in the morning. I guess that's the end of the episode then, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed us going out with Django. Um, and so next episode will be the uh, Commerce Guild's little um, celebration of my supposed first year of, be of being the top builder or whatever. So we'll go and see what that celebration is all about because it's obviously the first of the first, first day of spring. So I imagine that if you pick up the game like now, You'll probably get that on your like your first year or something, but obviously I'm on like year four and they've only just added it in. But anyway, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a thumbs up below. And if you'd like to see more Mind Have a Porsche, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.